Hey everybody, it's your girl Pretty Conspiracy Row, Pretty and Co Row, on short video today. Today I want to come on here and talk to you guys about the great Billy Carson. Um, I am still fairly new to Billy Carson. You know, I started following him on Black Magic 363's page. I watched a couple of his interviews. I've been to his page. I watched a couple of his videos. I did order the um, the God Power, um, the God the Power, blueprint uh, to God Power video. And I think he gave away some awesome inf information. I'm still going to do a video on that too. I just, it's just a lot of information to go through again and again to make sure that I can make the best video for you guys. So I've done it a few times. I probably want to go through it one more time just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I've already done Dr. B's part, but I still got to do Billy Carson's part. But uh, yeah, so, you know, I've always felt like he has, he gave some good information. What really, you know, made me, connected me to him or made me take a liking to him is when he was on Black Magic 363's page. And he was telling the story about his first like alien experience and, you know, how he had contact with Grays and they came into his home and how time seemed to stop and how, you know, he was frantic after and he was so scared and he scared his children, he scared his wife and, you know, how that kind of affected those relationships after that because people didn't, I guess, necessarily understand, I'm assuming. So, yeah, you know, I feel like he gave great insight to those type of experiences. And I feel like he just comes from another place with this information. He touches on the astral. He touches on the spiritual. He um, brings you back to, you know, he'll get into financial. And, um, you know, I feel like he's just well-rounded when it comes to these type of things, when it comes to this type of information. You know, he's a person who I would love to learn from. However, on my last video I uploaded, it, it was the Billy Carson talking about the origins of the Bible. And there was a lot of comments that I got from different My friend people. totally believes they cloned Billy Carson. But why? I responded, I've seen a couple of people comment that and I keep asking them why they believe it and no response. So let's move on to the next comment. Next, we have this one. Is Billy dead? Cloned? I responded, no. Why do you ask? This person actually commented one more time. Let's see. If they killed him, stand up. Stand up. I responded, who are you talking about? Now, after realizing this was the same person who has said Billy was cloned, I realized who she was talking about. Now, there were other comments about him being evil and scamming and deceiving people and about him giving misinformation and being a fraud. But um, I would like to believe when you get as successful as a person like Billy, that kind of comes with the territory. Now, when we go back to the cloning conversation, being that I haven't watched him as long as some other people, I don't think I could definitively say, hey, I feel like he's acting different or he's moving different or anything like that. You know, like when it came to the young Pharaoh situation, that that was actually someone who I was the avid watcher of, you know, and I kind of watched not even over time, almost abruptly a, a decline, you know, in his behavior and his personality and, you know, the way he was moving, moving that caused me not to want to even watch him anymore. In the short time that I have watched Billy Carson, he hasn't done anything you know, suspicious to me or anything that would deter me from wanting to, you know, watch any of his videos. He hasn't done anything but enlighten me. He's actually fed my soul, you know, and helped me out financially as well. So, I, yeah, I really can't say if I think he's a clone or not. I went and I typed in, is Billy Carson a clone on YouTube? I didn't see anyone making videos about this. So, yeah, I'm kind of, now I'm like, are these people just bots or agents? Because why are they, and where did they get this information from if it's not already readily available? So, 
Now, I wasn't as bothered with the people calling him a fraud or saying that he was deceiving his people because that kind of comes with the territory. You know, like when you get success, the haters come with it, right? But the clone thing really bothered me because it's like, wow, why can't he just be a successful, intelligent black man? You know, now he's a clone. I feel like we're going a little overboard with that. And I know if there was the reason to believe he was a clone, there would be there would be a thousand videos on YouTube about it already. So I don't know if this is people's way of planting seeds or what actually is going on, but I'm just giving my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts on the situation because I know there's a lot of you who, who've probably been watching him a lot longer than I have. So I would like to know what you think or if there's a reason why you would feel this way or if you can refer me to any information or anyone that gives information about why they feel this way. I know it's easy to look at a person and feel like they're successful and they have it all and they don't make any mistakes and hell they must not be real he must be a clone right but you know unless clones can go AWOL and unless clones could you know kind of go rogue can they I don't know but I don't think that they will allow him to give out so much information you know and to be so beneficial to people if he was indeed um controlled and um a clone or controlled opposition i just i don't believe that but that's the great thing about youtube it's not always about what i believe it's about what you believe as well so please drop down in those comments and let me know how you feel if you believe it, if you think it's totally outlandish, or if you saw someone saying the same thing, or maybe even in the comments, then let me know. And don't forget to like the video on your way in or on your way out. Thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you to all my old ones. See you later.